Um, pretty wild, lots of drama, lots of craziness. Even though the protests aren't, don't exist, a couple of drivers have already come up to start to try and get something through, even though really they can't do anything. Uh, and if you're watching this now and it's out, then uh, obviously I got some, some big things and some big news and some big stuff to discuss, so. Cool. Later, but I think you guys got some there. All right guys, welcome to a, what is currently wet road Atlanta and will be very humid soon. Um, yeah, been, uh, got in yesterday, um, pretty good flight, nothing too crazy. Went and got a tattoo, checked out the Type S meet pretty quickly. Uh, I've got a very, very long couple of weeks ahead of me. I'll talk a little bit more about that maybe later on once I can. But uh, down in the pits, still set up time. Oh, there's a uh, human's rig coming by. So, yeah, see what we get up to. Just uh, figured I'd walk the pits, see what everybody is up to, and see if I can get some lowdown on any of the vehicles. This is a super sick. Oh, see, now I know what Kemp looks at. Yeah, <laughs> just my streets. ugly mug the whole time. All right, just finished up doing the practice show, which I really love. Did it with the spotters. I think we're going to do like team managers or something next, but I like the behind the scenes stuff. This is really cool. Super pumped that FD let me do it. Now we're getting ready. I got a 15 minute break, grab a water, go to the bathroom quick, grab a snack. There's everybody getting ready. Seating bracket time. All right, we are back for day two. This is the prospect day only. Uh, the upside is I don't have a ton to do. Uh, I am going to be doing a podcast with the top three prospect drivers all once. I'm actually pretty pumped for it. Actually, I had to pick up some more microphones for it because I didn't have enough. I can see up here, and this is, just to give you an idea, so this is the big tent where they do the meetings, the media briefing, and then back there is where the staff area is. It's really not all that exciting in the staff area. Um, we do get meals, we get stuff uh, basically three times a day that get brought in, and in Atlanta, what's cool, really good Wi-Fi, and there's like a building where uh, it's air conditioned and stuff, so usually they have something there. It just depends on the facility. Maybe I'll give you a tour later, but we walk around the paddock and uh, get ready to watch some prospect. Okay, so this is up where essentially the spotter's tower is to give you a different perspective. So spotter's tower, everybody is up there. And this little area back here, kind of where everybody gathers. What's kind of neat is as people go out in the battles, you'll find the drivers and the teams come and sit down here. So it's not super busy right now, but once drivers start going out, this whole area gets absolutely filled with drivers and teams. It's, it becomes really cool. It's, a, it's, a, it's sad because those are people not competing, but it's cool because you get this camaraderie. So. Prospect is just about to start. I'm gonna hang out, watch some drifting, and then uh, I'll get ready for the podcast a little bit later on. It is game day. Um, my voice is already blown out, so that's great. Stayed up way too late last night, but it is getting packed in here already. Um, yeah, it's like one o'clock. I got about an hour before practice starts, so I'm gonna go check out the pits and 
see some drivers, but the paddock is already slammed full of people. Half time, I doubt you're even gonna be able to walk through. So pretty, uh, pretty pumped, excited for the bracket. Loved the new show, uh, like with all the drivers uh, after the podium. I believe we're gonna do the same thing for pro. So should be fun. All right, getting ready to go. Sugar free, lots of water. Show notes for today. This gives you an idea of what we're looking at during the broadcast. Cool. And then there's our bracket. All the spotters, a little, little rope. Make sure Nate doesn't get too wild, can't cross the rope. This is practice. All right, top 32 is over. Uh, I'm getting a bit of sun, as you can tell, and I'm under a tent. Um, pretty wild, lots of drama, lots of craziness. Even though the protests aren't, don't exist, a couple of drivers have already come up to start to try and get something through, even though really they can't do anything, which is kind of interesting. Um, old habits die hard though. I mean, we had 20 years of the same rule set. It's now different. People still, you know, parts of their day-to-day -day activity were like setting up a protest they're still gonna do. So that's how I look at it, but judges are doing a really good job. Reese is kind of handling it, which is cool. He's getting his big boy shoes and uh, I'm gonna go for lunch. All right, champagne getting sprayed, podcast all set up. We're gonna be interviewing those drivers. Love the show that came out, Prospect. Time to do a pro. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, that's so gross. All right, super dark. This footage is gonna be terrible, but um, that's a wrap. I gotta go and edit this podcast. Uh, thank you guys so much for kind of following these adventures. I know I didn't vlog a ton, but I'm still trying to figure out what uh, what I can and can't film. So, uh, and if you're watching this now and it's out, then uh, obviously I got some some big things and some big news and some big stuff to discuss. So we'll talk about that soon. Thanks again. Catch you guys next time. Good. I mean, good run, zombie more